Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to use a voice control system to talk to Jarvis, which is an AI system I built using voice command, and to see if we can have it run some simulation for us for a particular yet simple statistical phenomena. So with that being said, let's get started. Hey, how's it going? I am trying to solve a statistical simulation today. Can you help me with that task? Of course, I'd be happy to help. What specific statistical simulation are you trying to work on in Python? Let's start with the data. Let's say I have x1 to xn, uh, that's a random n samples independent observation with a mean mu and finite variance. Got it. So you have n random samples, x1 to xn, of independent observations with a mean value mu and finite variance. What would you like to do with this data in the statistical simulation? So if we denote uh, the sample mean to be x bar, and x bar subtract mean divided by standard deviation, how do I show that's a normal distribution when n goes to infinity? To show that the sample mean x bar minus the population mean divided by the population standard deviation approaches a normal distribution, you can use the central limit theorem. The central limit theorem states that the distribution of the sample mean of a large enough sample size will be approximately normally distributed regardless of the original distribution of the data. Would you like me to write the Python code to demonstrate this using a simulation with your given data? Yeah, write the Python code for me to demonstrate this. As n increase, uh, how does it look like a standard normal distribution? The provided Python code demonstrates the central limit theorem, showing how the sample mean approaches a standard normal distribution as the sample size n increases. It generates random samples, calculates the sample mean, and plots the distribution of x bar minus nice mu, sigma, squirt n, for comparison with a standard normal distribution. Would you like to execute this code to visualize the convergence of the sample mean distribution to a standard normal distribution as n increases? Please update the code. Uh, I like the plot, but in the end of the code, I want to save the plot. Please update that for me. The updated Python code demonstrates the central limit theorem, visualizing how the sample mean approaches a standard normal distribution as the sample size n increases. It also saves the plot as a PNG file named sample means distribution.png in the same directory where the code is executed. Would you like to execute this updated code to see the plot and save it as an image? Yes, please execute the code. Okay, so let's see if this works. The provided code executed successfully, generating a plot that demonstrates the central limit theorem, showing how the sample mean approaches a standard normal distribution as the sample size n increases. The plot has been saved as sample means distribution.png in the same directory where the code was executed. Is there anything else you would like to ask or any other task you need assistance with? Nope, that's it for today. Thank you so much. Finish the program or exit the program. You're welcome. If you have any more questions in the future, feel free to ask. Have a great day. Goodbye. So there you go. 
folks, will this code just finish running? And there you have it, a full end-to-end -end conversation from a statistical question that I've been reading from Wikipedia, come from this page. And I didn't really give a whole lot of information. I think I started by saying that I want a simulation, something like that. And I kind of described the data a little bit. I just set X1 to Xn and N samples independent observations. Other than that, nothing else much, right? And then I asked for Python code, it wrote something. And I look at the code, I was like, okay, this doesn't look that bad, but I want to save the picture. Because if you run this on the spot, nothing will be saved and I can't really see anything. So that's exactly what I said. I said, I want to save the picture. Once it updated the code with this line, the save figure being added in the end of a script, uh, I think the script is pretty much ready to go. And all I said was, hey, you know, uh, I think this is ready. Uh, please execute the code. And it's actually executing on my behalf. It created this Python script that I'm displaying on the right-hand side, whereas in the middle of the conversation, uh, this folder was empty. So that's the code being ran, which is great. Now that it executed, it provided this PNG file. I open a PNG file, looks like this, and I think everything looks about right. So hopefully you like this video. Hopefully this video shares some light of how to have a Jarvis-like AI to do some simple tasks for us, run some simple simulations. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like.